<laughs> to those world leaders, I'm going to say, really, shame on you. I'm going to say to the whole world, shame on you for, for what you did to Afghanistan. Why did you have to do what you did? And why are you doing this to this part of the world? I don't get it. I mean, are you, are you using all of us? Are we being just the pawns in your hands? Is that what it is? I don't understand it. But I really, really, you know, the fact that we don't have any hopes from you and the fact that I really, I don't even want to talk to you at all because the, the talking time is over. We talked to you, we demanded, we asked, we, we, we did everything and, 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 and nobody paid any attention. They just made decisions with their gut feelings or whatever. Um, all of these men of the world that they are in power and they are destroying what's something that we worked so hard for. What is happening in Afghanistan today is going to put this country 200 years back again. And how are we going to do that? Again, again, for me, I'm not going to see anything good about this generation. I'm, I'm going to be gone. I won't even see my country doing what it's supposed to be doing. Not only me, but a whole lot of other people. Even for the young generation, what are we going to do? Now there's going to be an exodus of the Afghans again leaving this country.